Hey there guys, this is ATX Shadow Angel here uh, and I thought I'd do a bit of a book review uh, or some sort of codex book, whatever you want to call it, review uh, on the new, well, new latest uh, Warriors of Chaos uh, army rulebook for Warhammer Fantasy uh, because I want to get back into my fantasy again because I haven't played it for a, well, a good while uh, I thought I'd dig up my, old, uh, my Chaos Army, uh, give them a few licks of new paint, new colour scheme and everything else. Uh, so, as you saw before, with the uh, School Crushers and the Lord, which has now been repainted, which I'll do in a future vid. Uh, I'm going to want to concentrate a bit more on fantasy, because I think fantasy is a bit... I don't, you know, you don't see it around, because everyone goes for big sci-fi stuff, so... Uh, so yeah, so where to begin with the new Chaos book? First of all, I quite like it. It's a really nice done. It's a really nicely done book. Uh, it still keeps the character of Chaos. Uh, you can now, uh, as I've loved always with fantasy, you can make such unique armies, uh, which aren't. You know, you won't see two Chaos armies the same because people will have uh, different preferences. Uh, something I wish they could put into 40k. Uh, but it's how it goes. Uh, so yeah, uh, where to begin? Right, First, uh, you've now got all your new units inside. Uh, so the score crushers and the... Um, is it Hell Striders? Yeah, Hell Striders of uh, Slanesh. Uh, which of course are Marauders. Uh, so, uh, where to begin? First of all, uh, this is the brand. This is the new hardback covers uh, for the books that they're doing now. Uh, really nice artwork on the front, and really cool picture on the back. And I apologise if the shine is blocking it. But so you got all the new mod, some of the new models. I'm hoping to do a unit of these at some point because these are they are really nice and possibly one of the uh, Morlafine um, brute whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, so as we open up, really nice uh, cornate artwork on the inside with like the cut charge of the juggernaut. Uh, something I do like with all the new hardbacks, uh, I know it may seem a bit, a bit petty, well, a bit childish or not, I don't care. Uh, the coloured pictures now, instead of the black and white ones, because it brings so much. So, but yeah, there's a better picture of what's basically on the front cover. So, got your Rise of Chaos, so. Beautiful bits of artwork, as always, from GW in this in some of these books. So, new picture of the Corn Lord on his jug. Uh, a couple of the old covers and uh, bits and pieces. New detailings out for the uh, gods of the four gods of chaos and a bit of backstory, which are quite cool. Uh, I do like that they've kind of uh, brought back in the uh, rivalries between the four gods, uh, but there's still that bit of they don't want to have them so that, say, Corn can't go with Zinch or Corn can't go with Slanesh but can go with Nurgle and all this, uh, which I kind of wish they would because it, it kind of gives Chaos that that chaos that, that chaotic side of the different gods and everything. Uh, now this is something I really liked, uh, the map, because it's a, it's not a like fe a top down tapestry map, it's a cool kind of 3D-ish map so you can actually see uh, sort of well, kind of more the scales and stuff of everything and how they're meant to look and and it adds that just that bit more detail to it, which I think acts quite nice. So yeah, so then you've got a bit more about the Chaos Waste than uh, the Realms of Chaos. 
Uh, then you've got timelines as always. As you can see, really nice bits of artwork. I'll get that to focus. <laughs> that just happened. Uh, so Val, buddy. Uh, so yeah, then you've got your Hordes of Chaos. New Eye of the Gods table, uh, which is really cool. Because uh, you can now have your, well, whoever it is. Because uh, all champions can now roll on the Eye of the Gods table. So your warrior champions, your knight champions, uh, obviously the expiring champions and lords, uh, sorcerers, all of those that are classed as champions can now roll off the either gods table for if they win challenges, um, which is really cool, but it can come back to bite you in the ass, as most things do. Um, I mean, like I say, if you roll a... Uh, if you get a roll of a double one when rolling for it after you win, uh, you could turn into a spawn, which is always handy. Or, if you roll a double six, you can turn into a great demon. <laughs> or a demon prince, uh, which keeps all pretty much all the upgrades and stuff that your chaos champion is. Uh, obviously, any mounts get removed and everything else. Uh, so then we go on to all the new all the new layouts and everything so they all come in two uh, separate bits uh, so you no longer have two separate pages for effectively the same option so and you've now got your chaos lords uh, with your exalted heroes sorcerers and you've got so uh, sorcerer lord in there as well beautiful colored pictures as well uh, you've now got the mount uh, cool bit of artwork there if I can get it to show because I do like that picture this is a three of, well, actually four, I didn't I only just noticed the disc. Uh, all in there to represent all the, the obviously the four gods. Uh, Manticore is up on there. It's a really nice bit of artwork. Uh, so yeah, Demon Princes. Demon Princes are now actually quite, uh, from what I've read, are actually quite cool to take. Because they actually now have an invulnerable save. Or ward save, as I should say. They have a five up ward save, uh, which uh, they didn't before. Um, taking the different marks an hour slightly better. Uh, you've also uh, so so demon yeah demon princes are I I'd say quite worth taking, or at least looking at. Uh, Chaos warriors are now with chosen, so you now have uh, all them. Chosen are quite cool now, uh, as if they weren't before. Because uh, you roll uh, 3d6 on the uh, Eye of the Gods table before you start the game, rather than 2, and you get rid of the dice that you wish. So uh, that actually works out quite well for them, I'd say. Uh, so yeah. So like I say, you've got your Chaos Marauders and Marauder Horsemen. Here you go. Hell, uh, Striders of Celeste, that's the one. Uh, really cool bit of artwork, which I quite like. But yeah, so as you can see, uh, they've uh, so yeah, Chaos Knight, Chaos Knights worth uh, mentioning. Uh, just for anyone who's played Chaos, um, in the older book you got the uh, inscribed weaponry as standard. That is no longer an issue. Um, they now come with a hand weapon, and for three points a model, you now buy it after upgrade the models to have the inscribed weaponry. Same with the um, Skull Crushers as well, who are now more, a bit more expensive than the White Dwarf um, release. Uh, so yeah, you've got all their rules there. Uh, something I didn't realise is that the Juggernaut guys have three wounds each. So yeah, that's a hell of a unit to kick ass with. Um, so yeah, as you can say, the chariots are now quite cool, especially with the new Gore Beast. Uh, that thing's quite harsh, to be honest. Uh, so uh, the new Forsaken unit are really nice. Uh, cool bits of rules for them. Uh, Warhounds and everything. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can go on and on and on about how much I really do like this book. Um, one with, uh, for anyone who plays Giants. So you can tell I am reading the Giants page. Um... Marcus Lanesh has now changed for Giants, which now gives them plus one initiative rather than they always strike first. So Giants uh, maybe 
getting a bit of a re-look up for Armis. Two new guys as well, which is the uh, Vortex Beast, uh, which is quite nasty, and the Slaughter Brute. The Slaughter Brute I really like because you can effectively make it your Lord's pet. Uh, and as long as he's alive, you use his uh, weapon skill and leadership uh, for him in combat, no matter how far the distance is. Uh, which is really, really cool, especially if you're sticking with your Lord. Archeon, as always, is one hard ass. Uh, Wolfric, I still need to read. Valkyr the Bloody is absolutely horrid now. She really is. Uh, Village, as always. Uh, Festus, I still need to have a proper read of. Sigfald the Magnificent is, well, just as his name goes, really. Uh, put it this way, he will slaughter lots on the toe. Uh, Throg is a laugh. Uh, in a good way. <laughs> um, Skylar, however the hell you pronounce that last name. <laughs> Affingrim. He's quite nasty. Unbreakable, he just sits in the combat and mashes stuff to pieces. As he should. Uh, uh, Galrach, I think that's pronounced. I have no idea, I've never... That one. <laughs> Twin-headed dragon of chaos. Is as nasty as always. Colex Sun Eater is really worth a cool take, uh, as he was originally, but now with the new rules, he uh, fits in. Uh, new powers as well, slightly, so they've been slightly altered and they're a bit more nasty in some cases, not so much as before. Uh, so you've got your Nurgle, Slanesh. Uh, mutations are now the Chaos Gifts, so that's this page here. Chaos Mower. Mutations and Powers, which is that page there. Uh, some nice bits and pieces in there. Some are a bit, as always, a bit eh, but they're gifts, so they're not too bad. Uh, this is the biggest, the only thing that I kind of have the drawback about, uh, which is uh, the dreaded ar 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 artifacts of chaos, which are your magic items, is now that. Two pages. And then obviously you can mix it in with the one in the for, in the I said 40k fantasy rule book. They are their magic items, but yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, uh, everything on past here is your standard stuff. So you got models, all your model stuff, and then you got all your points, and then your chart. Uh, so yeah, and then you got your picture. So yeah, that is. Warriors of Chaos book for you guys. I uh, hope it helps. Um, and I hope, you know, if it's interested you in Chaos, or even if it hasn't, it gives you a bit of an insight into what uh, Warriors of Chaos uh, know about. And I hope to be doing some more videos on my Chaos Army uh, sometime soon. Uh, so I'll see you, catch you next time, guys. Uh, so, uh, as always, as I've always said, uh, comments below if you ever want to ask any questions about anything, or you can now join me on Facebook, uh, my new, um, uh, my 88 Shadow Angel Facebook page. You can always ask me anything on there, guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.